Don't you buy no ugly truck, and don't you buy no ugly headphones. But anyways, today is casual Sunday for me. I'm, I actually was planning on reviewing these Bluteo Turbine Series T5s that are currently in my head, but I thought that maybe I'd give it a, another day, because I made the mistake on the last pair of headphones I reviewed is by not letting them break in. And I did, after... Um, after listening to the headphones for a day, it's just like they, the sound quality got better by leaps and bounds. So I said, I'm not going to be unfair to these headphones by, by reviewing them too early, even though I've had them on my head constantly for the last 24 hours. But with that being said, um, I, I, what I want to talk about today is the mistake that I've made more times than not. And it's all because of ego. It, I'm convinced at this point that no one should spend $300 on headphones. There's something about headphones that cost $300 that you're, the, the return you're getting at that price point is not much different than headphones that are $50. And I can, I can, I can state example after example of headphones that cost way less than your, your Beats generally cost $300, your, your Sony... 1000 series one the first generation second generation third generation okay those those are generally 300 350 dollar headphones your sennheiser pxc 550s okay your your bose series headphones okay and uh, the only pair of headphones that i've spent over 300 dollars on uh that would fit into that um category were the um audio technica dsr 7 bts and those headphones are probably the only ones that I would say are actually worth that price. And still, you could find headphones for less that probably match them. But it's just something about those headphones that I love. They do, they sound, to, to my ear anyways, they sound infinitely better than the Bose, the, the Sonys, and the Audio Technicas. The, the, the Sonys were ego purchase because they had the thing where you can hold your hand right there and talk to someone, and I thought that was nice. And noise canceling, you know, I've it's, you know considered the best in the business right now. They passed Bose. Bose, I had my experience with Bose years ago. I had, when the Acoustimass series speakers first came out, I you know I had to have them. I got those. They were nice cubes on the wall, but I. I quickly found out that you bang for your buck, you know what, small is, you know, in in that space when you're talking about speakers, you know what, you can get a lot of sound out of a small speaker, but bigger is better, I don't care what anyone says with with, the, with um, home audio, bigger is better, but I basically, because of kids and family, I kind of got, I've gotten out of the, um, Home entertainment systems because I just can't listen to them. You have to listen to them loud to enjoy them, and I just never have the ability to listen to them loud because it's rude to everyone you're around. So I've, I've kind of gone the headphone route, and I've, I found out that you know, bang for buck, you get a lot better experience with headphones, anyways, and and it's personal. It's something I can enjoy, and I can do it on my own. I can do it anytime I want. I can listen to them as loud as I want. I don't have to worry about it. Okay, now getting back to the, the subject of the video, I know I'm, I'm kind of going on and on, but three hundred dollar headphones. There's there's something about all headphones that seem to be in that category. The the ones that are you know mass consumer products. I'm talking about the Bose and the Sony's, those are probably the big two right now. I probably will buy the Microsoft Surface headphones just because. I'm a Microsoft fan. I play Xbox, and I, you know, you know, they they got the they got their hands in me, kind of like Apple with the Beats does on some other people. But you know, I I've heard a lot of good things about the those headphones, and you know, and it's ego purchase. I like the way they look, and I'm I'm gonna get them at some point. And the DSR Seven BTS. Um, actually, I want the DSR Nines. I seen I I I seen a kid had a pair of them. I, at, at Best Buy the other day, and he bought them in Japan, and it's just a beautiful headphone. And the tr truth is, is the reason why I'd be buying those headphones is just because it's like a piece of jewelry. Those are beautiful headphones. I've, it's, out of all the headphones that I've seen, I've just never seen a pair of headphones look as good as those. Man, I was like, the minute I saw the kit, I knew what they were. Man, I DSR nines. Where'd you get those? Because I, I know that you could, you know, you can buy them on Amazon and. And whatnot, but I've never seen a retail retailer carry them. So, 
yeah, they're a beautiful headphone, and I probably won't overspend on those, but that's not, probably not for the quality, because from everything I heard, they're pretty much the same as the DSR-7s, but just better looking, so, and that's, that's why I'll spend too much on headphones, but the truth of the matter is, is I get the same sound quality for 50 bucks, and, and that's the point of the video is there are so many $50 headphones right now that sound just as good as those $300 ones. And why, why, why the difference? Well, here's the thing. Bose, um, Sony, um, really, even JBL to a certain extent, although I, I am a fan of the JBL, especially, you know, they're, um, they, you know, they're a little bit less expensive than other headphones. And I, I think dollar for dollar, they are better than some of the competing brands they don't advertise as much and that's that's what it is the um the beats you know they're 75 percent of the cost of their headphones is paying for the advertisements we watch to pay the big big stars to wear them so well if jay-z wears them or you know or or Nicki minaj wears them then they must be the best no they're not the best they're getting paid to wear them and you know, and they come in nice colors, but look at the headphones. I'm, I paid $28 for these ones on my head. It's pretty nice colors. They're different. They, they're flashy, and they sound every bit as good as Beats. I'm, I'm not going to review them right now, but I just kind of wanted to do that. Then I'm going to, I'm going to, color, color is a big thing with this too, because I'm going to, I'm going to show you an example of a headphone that costs over $300, and it has nothing to do with anything other than the color, okay? Here's. A set of Audio Technica M50Xs. Okay, now this this headphones generally, if you buy the basic black ones, they're $150 pretty much everywhere, and they're, they're one of the you know they're very popular headphones. They're very highly rated. Um, these are actually the headphones that made Zio Spatera um, famous. He gave these a bad review, and after after that, he's been one of the biggest internet um, personalities as far as um, uh, reviewing headphones and other audio um, gear goes. And you know what? I I, I love his channel, and this is a, that a, that isn't um, a knock on him at all. But he really took off when he hated these headphones. Um, I don't hate them, but I don't wear them that much. And you know, I I bought these. Okay, someone was selling them on Craigslist, and I, I bought them for a hundred dollars, just because I liked the color and and you know I wanted to see what all the hoopla was about these headphones. But people, it's it's funny that I got these for that price because the guy who sold them did not know what he had. Because if you look on eBay right now, people are the the minimum these are going for used is like two and a quarter, and I see people asking up to four hundred dollars for them. Now I don't know if they're getting that, but that's all about the color. They say they're, you know, special edition, but they're not that limited. They're, you know what? They're easy to get. There's a lot of them out there. So when you're paying that, you're not getting a collector's item. It's just is what it is. And, you know, the other thing I say about it, I've hardly worn these headphones at all. But if you look right here, you can kind of see they're, they're wearing out just from wearing something about this uh, brown um, fall leather on them that it just is breaking down. Something about that color, they're just kind of... Um, flimsy if you look inside the band there it's breaking down there and I haven't really beat on these at all I've if I've worn them 10 times it's probably a lot and I think the person that had them before me never actually wore them you know but but here's what I'm gonna say okay here's a pair of headphones okay that $150 is probably overpriced for them compared to what they cost to make and $300 which they're getting here I got a video there I got them up on my on my screen right here. Hang on a second. Let me turn my I saw my Xbox. Sorry about that, but it's just where I seem to be sitting. It's football day. Here, Sears sells them new for three hundred and sixty-four dollars, and they come with a a fifty-dollar FiO amp or you know um deck, and you know so call them three hundred dollars new, and it's way too much. Let's let's take a look. Here's a pair of headphones that are almost exactly the same. Here, let me take, let me show you. These are Teotronics, okay? Now these headphones, look at them. I mean, they're almost exactly the same in build. I mean, you shake them, these ones are actually sturdier, okay? You know, the, the pads are the same depth and thickness. They're actually just as comfortable, okay? And they have more features. These ones, okay? Let me stick these here on my leg here. These ones here are noise canceling and Bluetooth. 
okay? And they sound almost identical to the Audio Technica here. You know what I paid for these? $35 on Amazon. $35 for a pair of headphones that almost identically match these ones in build, durability, sound quality, and this one has more features for over $100 less. And certainly if you're going to and if you get into the color thing, you're, you're looking at $250 less, you can have these headphones. But why do people buy these ones? Because, why do I buy these ones? Because I want people to see me wearing them. No other reason. But, you know what? We're getting to the point where it's like I'm older. My days of getting chicks are long over. I didn't even get chicks when I was younger. So why, why, why would I care about that? No, not to mention my significant other that I've been with for 10 years. That's another room right now. Um, the bottom line is I have no one impressed but myself and that's why these are better headphones I should be wearing these all the time more than these ones but I'm not and I actually don't wear either I have too many headphones that's the problem I, I, I basically wear a different pair of headphones every day so with that being said it's my my opinion that if you're paying three there's something about all the all the headphones that cost three hundred dollars that that you're buying advertising. You're paying for them to advertise to, to you, or we're paying for them to advertise to us for a $300 pair of headphones. These headphones right here, they're gonna get a review tomorrow, and these are better than Audio Technica's, the M50X's. They are. They're more durable, they're more, they're more comfortable, okay? I know the color's a little bit flashy, but they come in other colors, okay? They're, they beat them in features, okay? And um, these are a better all-around pair of headphones. These are well-balanced. The highs, mids, lows are all great on them. And I got, I know, I, I got these for $28 from China. $28, and they beat the $150 headphones. Um, and enough said. No one should be paying $350 for a pair of headphones unless they have something special to offer. And I, noise canceling isn't it. You know what, noise canceling, it doesn't mean nothing. Because once you turn them up to about half volume, you're not hearing anything anyways. So, noise canceling might be the most overrated feature ever. And, you know what, I, I buy them be, because I've got a problem. I just have to have headphones. I don't know why. I'm, it's kind of like, a, you know, the movie Conspiracy Theory where he's got to buy a catcher and a rye. i got to buy headphones. I don't know what it is, but... I just have overwhelming need to buy them constantly, and I can't help myself. So with that being said, I will see you on the next one. Have a good day.